everyone, so I'll give you guys some history about this place. So this place is a theme park and it had its soft opening in 1997 before the rides were in. And in, in 2000, it just shut down for good. They never even put the rides in here. They had no funds. Um, it was run by the government and they, they grouped up with a businessman. So it was a joint, you know, business and they ended up failing. Um, an economic crisis happened in 2000 as well that really hurt them where they couldn't even get the funds to actually build the rides in. So by that time, it was already too late and they just closed the park down for good. And so what we're seeing is the remains. So this whole place is pretty much unfinished. We're gonna be walking through the remains of this theme park and we'll see how it goes. We're starting off right in the front gate. Here's the ticket stands. They still are sitting right here. There's more too. There's three of them. Well, let's go behind them. But you can see how they're just sitting here collecting dust. These are the ticket booths that, I mean, they paid for a little bit, but you know, also, we got Louis with us today. Finally. Yeah, finally. We're doing an abandoned place together, man. I got man. here three days ago, but this is the first time we're able to hang out. Actually do a video together. Yeah, this is going to be fun. I mean, the last time we actually done a video together was when we did those rooftops in Tokyo. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Though. It was sick. And now we're here doing a place in Bali. It's crazy how, how small the world is. We're just meeting up around the world every I time. I love when we go to abandoned places and we've seen this kind of art just sitting here. So in front it's awesome because they have a freaking fountain statue right right here. Looks like like a like a like a, a griffin or like a gargoyle. Yeah. Hey, we even got lily pads in here. Now there's so much ways we can go or like left and right or straight. I don't want to really follow the group because I'm just trying to chill. For now, so I'm gonna go take the left side. What's interesting is that they were supposed to have a 3D show here, a volcano that spit like uh, some kind of flames out that had a laser show at night. There was supposed to be restaurants here, obviously. They even had a crocodile pit. And rumors has it that when the place closed, like, and they couldn't really like update it or fix it or or even build any more because they had no more money, all the crocodiles were left here. And the locals would come in here and give them chickens to keep feeding it. As far as we know, what happened was they starved to death. They ended up eating each other. That's what that's what the rumor says. Hey, this is some really good graffiti art. I wonder if the, this was left here. Or did like people come in and actually do this? It looks really nice. And freaky. I wonder what this building was. It's almost like freaking ancient because how, how nature took it over. It feels like it's ancient. Plus, oh my God, look at this building. Holy crap. <laughs> I want to get in there. Oh, this building's way bigger than I thought. I have no idea what I'm walking into. This is massive. I wonder what was supposed to be here. Even though there's really nothing in here, these structures are just sick. I love how the sun's just coming through the roofs and it's really destroyed, but I love it. You can't see much of the ground anymore. It's covered by dirt and mold and yeah. But if you look straight down here, here's an idea of how the floor looks. Everywhere I look, there's always like a different building. And like these buildings have been sitting here abandoned for over 16 years. So they're just hidden away. And the trees, is bushes and everything's just grown over it. So sometimes you might even miss them. Oh God. Ugh. Like I don't know what this is. Looks like it could have been a, a, a kitchen. Look at those stairs, I don't even think they're good. I'll try walking on them though. Let me just go over here. The only thing I'm freaked out about here is to be honest, spiders and snakes. 
That's the bathroom. You can try going up these stairs. Yeah, there's nothing here. You see, you can barely see the paths. And there's actually a building behind here. You just can't even see it. What the heck is over there? We're going. Yeah, so right around here, it seems like there's water leveling up. But I guess maybe that's why the rocks are put here. I don't think we can make it over there. So from here on out, it's just all water. So we can't really get over there. We're gonna try to find another way. Oh my God. Whoa. Yo, look at this. It's like a, like a castle. The outskirts of a castle. But how do we get in, man? Wow. Tomb Raider. No, this is real like Tomb Raider. <laughs> For sure. Holy crap! <sighs> Look at this. Check out the designs on the walls. So cool. <laughs> Yo! Yeah, man. The volcano is real. <laughs> We're just walking over this bridge. Hey, see right here. That's that's the house we gotta get into. I still have to figure out what that is over there later. I would never be able to live with myself if I couldn't have got it in here. I'd be so curious for the rest of my life. It's like a full labyrinth of stairs. Yes. Smells dank. You might actually find a dead body down there. I'm gonna go. Smells like it. Well, it really does smell down here. I'm gonna have to check it out. A little bit. Holy crap. All I hear is running water. I feel like I'm gonna uncorner our head crowd from half like one and two. Whoa. It's all water flowing up. All right, well. It looked a lot better on the outside. This is definitely an unforgettable place. And for me, it's because of just, look what's in front of us. Like these temples and shrines and how, how it looks so old and ancient and mystical. And that's what makes this place unique. Oh. Man, I know there's nothing in here, but. Uh. I'll come in anyway. I wonder if people actually climbed up in there. It's really nice right here. The flowers falling off the tree are really orangey red and it makes a nice look here. Yeah. Yo, dude! Finally found Joe. We've been wild and have you seen the, the cave looking house? No. Or Oh my god. I walked through a tunnel of bats though. You did? I yeah. didn't see the bats yet. We've been, you, I haven't seen what you see, but you haven't seen what I've seen yet. This is mad. It this is, is the fun insane. thing about like filming together. Yeah, like, yeah, we see our different uh, perspectives. You've got a mosquito on your head. Get it. <laughs> I got, bro, I got it and it splattered with blood. It like splattered Was it huge? Blood. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh god. You have to see his video of him splatting me in the head. <laughs> Out of all the people I met up with, I met up with Louis. We got this. Okay. Bro, this is sick. 
This is like some kind of temple vibe. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. I, all day I was telling my, my people, I'm like, listen, it's like an uncharted forest. There's ruins why, everywhere. I don't know why this is in the middle of like a theme park. Yeah. I think this is, this seems older than 16 years though, isn't it? Nah, man, it really is 16 years. It does, dude. It like feels like we're in like the intricate stone carvings. Like, what is that? It's like we're in the Mayan temples, man. It's so good, man. <laughs> oh, it's so, so, so glad, dude. I'm this so is glad what we always do. It, oh, it's like you sick what you can find the artwork on the walls. It does look so old. I guess this is the style they built it in. Yeah. It looks like it could be like hundreds of years old. But I was waiting to find someone who would want to climb the volcano with me. You found him. You and found luckily, him. Lou is the one. <laughs> so good. yeah, I don't know how to start, but okay. I. I I think I, I just want you to lead, man. I'm so <laughs> glad that you're as crazy, crazy as me. Yeah, man, thank God. Right. <laughs> Josh just suggested we climb up this like fake volcano. It's a fake volcano. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm filming with you. These are red ants, I don't even want to touch it. I right, mean, we can grab me from here. Yeah? I don't know, but... But how are you going to climb up? You need to put your feet somewhere. I'll you just throw them on here. You like, sure? I'll just, yeah, if you can grab my arm. Okay. Like uh, last time. Oh my gosh, I'm covered in red ants. Okay. Red ants, you are? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this is crazy. Right, the whole thing is collapsing. This is unbelievable. Yeah. We found like the secret entry though. We deserve like free Gatorade in there or something. Like a hidden area. This is awesome though. Yeah. What is this? Oh my god. You're gonna flip, man. No way. Do you think they were, uh, used to pump smoke out of these pipes? Yeah, yeah, because we're in the volcano and, and like fire or like smoke or something would come out from here and show off in the up top in the sky. This is like the false crater of the volcano. Yeah. We should randomly walk in and we see this freaking monkey out of nowhere. This is what I'm thinking where the alligators must have been, like down here in the. Cause it's all walled off, you see? How yep. It's like, it, must I, have been like a lake there it could maybe be, yeah, the crocodiles could have been there. We came across a real shrine that's still in use. Still color on their stone. By the way, this is out of the park, guys. The theme park. This is on the edge of it. So is this another like <sighs> shrine, you think? Yeah, this is a shrine. That's so cool, that's how, how it's built around a huge tree. Oh, that is awesome. And what I like about um, what they do here, I don't know why, but they actually dress up the stones and, and like the, the, the people here, like the, yeah, the statues. They, like, yeah, they sta yeah, that's cool how they do that. This is my first time going on a vine swing. I'm just gonna like sit on it and... Jump up, it's really strong. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. I can't believe I'm sitting on a nature swing, man. Now I gotta try to push. <laughs> give me a push, Cody, give me a push. All right, I got you. Get it. Ready? <laughs> Holy crap. Oh! <laughs> this is good, man. Nature's finest. I'm the last one left in the whole theme park from that group we've seen in the beginning. Even Louie and Cody left, they went to get drinks. But I have to finish this, so I'm just kind of taking my time. Uh, I'm just enjoying it. But just look at this. So there's like some sort of like star symbol in the middle and just bam, this building's not finished. I wonder how nice this one would have looked. Wow. Unbelievable. A lot of the graffiti here is really nice. Now, I don't know if that owl was here by the actual people who built the place, or was the owl here because like some graffiti artist came in. Regardless, I love that owl there. This place just keeps opening up to more and more things. Different areas. It's like it never ends. I mean, you come on, you all have to admit it looks like we're in like the Mayan ruins and stuff. What? What the hell?
It's like the gods, the guardians. DK, that it just makes everything so cool. I mean, this building, for instance. I have to go in, of course. Oh, Turbo Theater. So we had a theater here. Going for it. Yes. This was a theater. Wow, it is freaking dark. I gotta at least film the stage. Dude, it's so dark, I can't even show the stage. Damn. Get a little bit more close. Oh yeah, it's right here. This is just a brick wall. But I guess something was going down right here in this pit. All right, everyone, this is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to explore as much as I can here. Um, the only thing I do lack out of this place is the cinematics. I should have did a lot more cinematics, so I apologize, but that's all me. I really wanted to create more of an ancient, like mystical kind of vibe, and I should have did a lot more better cinematics. That's okay, because I'm learning. I'm trying to go hard in the paint with this stuff, man. But also, this is even my last day in Bali. I leave tomorrow morning with Cody. We're, we're done. This, this is the last Bali day. Um, I'm heading back home and we're going to picture... Uh, I don't even know what, exactly what we're going to do, but we're going to go look for a new adventure, a new series, maybe Hawaii, maybe like a, an island, maybe... Who knows exactly what we're going to do. So I need your guys' help. I need you guys to comment below exactly where should I or Cody or all of us go. Where do we go next? I need you guys to comment below so we can kind of work out a new trip and figure out where to go because we we're planless in December. I have plans in January. I'll, I'll tell you about that later. But now we need plans for December. <laughs> Holy and these are my homies, Christian, Laura. Dude, there's so many mosquitoes. We gotta I know, get out of here. I know there's tons of mosquitoes here, and that's another reason why I can. Every time I'm trying to sit still with the cinematics, the mosquitoes are biting me. But yeah, seriously, <laughs> um, tell us where we should go next. Um, this is it. My last Bali day. I had to go off with a bang in this abandoned place, hang out with it, Louis, man. with Sam, Christian, everyone. We all went hard. <coughs> Laura, Thanks. you know, we, we did it. So you did it big. Their links are gonna be in the description below. Hope you guys really enjoyed this Bali series. Again, I'm out. Woo, that's a lot of talking.